Russia. Let's shift focus from one neighbor to another. Sri Lanka is now in a state of emergency and its president, Gotabaya Rajapaksha, who's been on the run in exile literally from the country. He's now landed just moments ago in Singapore. He left the Maldives in a private jet is what we're given to understand. Rajapaksha was supposed to resign yesterday. Instead, fled from the country, first landing up in Maldives. The Speaker of the Sri Lankan Parliament, Mahinda Yapa Abewardana, has said that the Parliament will resume after three days once Rajapaksha resigns from his post. Meanwhile, the Sri Lankan opposition is likely to propose a new name for Prime Minister. Meanwhile, in a statement, Singapore has clarified that Gotabaya has been allowed entry on a private visit. Neither did he seek asylum nor is Singapore granting him any kind of asylum. All right, we're just getting that breaking news. This has just come from the Singapore Foreign Ministry just moments after Gotabaya Rajapaksha landed it at the Changi Airport uh, in Singapore. Uh, it says, and I quote, Mr. Rajapaksha has been allowed entry into Singapore on a private visit. He has not asked for asylum and neither has he been granted asylum. Singapore generally does not grant requests for asylum. Purnima is now joining us live from Colombo. So what's the word in Colombo? Uh, clearly, Singapore doesn't seem to be his final destination. Where is he likely to go from Singapore? What's the word on the street in Colombo? Well, sources say that he's having multiple options open and only after he feels safe, uh, quote-unquote, uh, will he finally uh, submit his designation. But many say that at least for the interim period, he is likely to stay in Singapore. That's what local media here has been reporting, that Singapore at least for a few days and uh, that he uh, is likely to submit his designation uh, once uh, he uh, he is in Singapore and has reached a safe destination. But, you know, uh, what about Rajapaksha? Do you think Singapore will be his final destination? Do you also predict that he could even, uh, that there could be a delay in the resignation wherein he could try to uh, try to travel to other places as well I don't think that to go to Rajapaksha's final destination is Singapore sometimes I feel that all the world is helping us at this moment he will not have any place to go uh, I think his final destination will be back in Sri Lanka one day not as the president as a jail in the jail he'll be in jail one day you know the uh, there's a delay in the resignation. He had promised to resign on the 13th of July, but that's not happening. At least do you foresee uh, uh, the announcement coming in any time now that he's landed in Singapore? Do you expect it to come any time today? We are. We are expecting that. But that's what he said. He said that he will uh, hand over his uh, resignation as soon as he feels safe because he knows that uh, anywhere that he is not safe at the moment. Wherever he goes, he has been chased out. Nobody is expecting uh, like him to be in his country because it will be a threat. Wherever he is in that country, it's a threat for that country. So he, he, it, he has to, he has to, we are expecting his resignation. And also I, I would like to say we are expecting his resignation, but uh, even it, at this moment we don't uh, respect him or we don't say that he is our president. He has left us and gone. He has gone. Yeah. So they say that it's already a victory because uh, he had already uh, fled the country and that itself is a victory for the people's struggle. You know, it's raining in Colombo, but that is not stopping protesters from raising slogans. Uh, this is a scene at uh, the golf face where protests continue and despite rains, there are, you can hear slogans against uh, Gotabaya Rajapaksha Gota go home chorus only growing louder whether it's uh, whether it's a rainy day whether it's a hot day protests here continue for the 97th day back to you also very quickly Purnima what's happening in terms of uh, you know the opposition I believe that uh, there's going to be a meeting tomorrow and uh, the opposition could likely propose a consensus name to the speaker to be the next prime minister uh, what's happening on that front Well, an all-party uh, government uh, should be formed and that is going to be the next step. And opposition parties here uh, say that by 10 a.m. tomorrow, uh, the name that they would suggest as a prime ministerial candidate, that will be given to the speaker. Right now, discussions on, uh, are on on who could uh, uh, be chosen as the prime minister. So all the opposition parties are now trying to stay united and recommend a name for the prime minister's post. Remember, Ranil Vikramasinghe is now the interim president. Uh, Ranil Vikramasinghe has 
had uh, told this uh, speaker that uh, opposition parties should elect someone to be the pi prime ministerial candidate and that is going to uh, be the uh, uh, and that is going to be discussed now and by 10 a.m. tomorrow they will submit their recommendation to the speaker and they hope that by that time Gotabaya will finally resign the parliament which is supposed to convene tomorrow that is not uh, the parliament is not convening tomorrow because Gotabaya still hasn't resigned and that's the latest update that we are getting all right Purma we'll leave it at that uh, continue reporting for us from Colombo at the heart of these Aragalea protests or the People's Peaceful Protest. Meanwhile, we're getting another